everyone and welcome to the sew it yourself pattern channel in today's video i will show you how to sew the blair shorts and all you need is the sewing pattern the fabric a ruler matching threads a 16 centimeter trouser zip some pins a pen to mark and a scissor and the first step is to sew both back darts and after give them a press and the next step is to take the pleats and fix them with some pins to the side seam Fix them, sew over the pleats. The next step is to interface the belt loops, the fly shield, the fly facing and the waistband. Make sure to give it a good press. The next step is to fold the fly shield right side on right side. Now sew the fly shield along the bottom seam. Trim the seam allowance and after that give it a good press. And the next step is to search. And now place the fly facing to the front crotch. And sew it. Make sure to sew in the seam allowance. And now cut into the front crotch at the seam allowance and below the fly facing like that. And turn the fly facing to the other side. give it a press and make a top stitch and now place your zip with the face down and secure it with some pins before you sew it And now you can stitch it down very close and only on one side of the zip. Now take your template sewing pattern. To give the short a nice look we top stitch it from the outside by using the template to mark it. And now take the fly shield and place it on the zip. Secure it with some pins and sew the zip on the fly shield. And now cut into the front crotch seam allowance again like we did on the other front leg. And now fold the seam allowance and give it a good press.
and now place it on the zip and again secure it with some pins and make a top stitch and now we will close the crotch seam And stitch over this seam again to secure it even better. Next step is to stitch together the center back crotch seam and search it. And now place the pockets right side on the right side of the back pants and make the same on the front pants. And now sew at the straight edge at one centimeter. And after that search the side seam from the front pieces. And now fold the pockets to the other side. And make a top stitch to secure the pockets right. And now we can place front and back pants right sides together. So we will close the side seam and don't forget about the pockets. And now we will cut in the seam allowance to open the seam allowance to give it a good press again. And the next step is to sew the inseam. And also search the inseam. And the next step is to take your belt loops and fold them right. And make a top stitch. You can top stitch on both sides if you want to. And now place the belt loops on the shorts, one in the center back and place the other four wherever you want them. The next step is to sew them on the shorts. It's easier when they are already fixed before you put the waistband on it. And now fold the waistband at the center and give it a good press. And now you can start to pin the waistband onto the pants. There are markings on the sewing patterns where the center back is and where the overlap and underlap is. And now you can sew the waistband on the shorts.
and after that stitch the belt loops onto the pants very close to the edge. Now search the edge of the waistband. And also search very carefully the waist seam. Make sure you only search the two layers. And now fold the waistband right sides together at the overlap of the fly front. And sew the edge. Trim the seam allowance. And now turn everything over and pin the waistband right so that the seam allowance is inside and you can see it. To get a perfect seam from the out and inside of the waistband, I prefer to make a hand stitch before I sew the waistband. And now you sew the waistband from the outside of the shorts. Now attach the belt loops to the top and end of the waistband. And sew over them. The next step is to search the length. And after that fold the length at one centimeter and give it a good press. The marking is on the sewing pattern for this. And now fold the folded one centimeter to the next marking. And sew very close to the edge. And give it a good press. And now fold to the next and final marking to get a nice cuffed hem. Secure the cuffed hem on the side seam by making a stitch in the ditch. 
and again give it a good press. And the last step is to add closures. And you're done! And now take some pictures in your new beautiful shorts and don't forget to show your result on Instagram and tag sew it yourself pattern. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.